Hi guys, it's Tracy and I'm back with another monthly makeup wrap up video for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you think about subscribing before you leave and make sure you give me a thumbs up before you leave as well. And if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, what this video or series is, is any of the new makeup that I've picked up, I test it for the month and then I come back at the end of the month and let you know how I like things and how they worked out for me. So uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. I had, let's do the eyeshadow palettes first. I had the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. And I had kind of thought it was boring at first, but once I got it, I saw, I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $7.99. It, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's kind of pretty. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pick that up. So I ended up picking it up and I do like it. And then I also have by BH Cosmetics, the Color Festival palette. Really pretty colors in here. Um, I do get fallout with it, with the shimmers, even with the glitter glue. But I do get fallout with most shimmery shadows. But I still like it, and if I have a little bit of fallout, I just brush it away. And then I had the Infatuation palette by Profusion. It's a really pretty palette. It's got really pretty shades in it. And yeah, 10 bucks. Can't beat it. Really nice. And then I have the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. That's what it looks like. And I like this. It's a nice formula. It's not anything that I'm like, oh my God, I have to get all the rest of his palettes. But I do like it and I'm definitely going to keep it and I will definitely keep using it. I like all the reds and the pinks and all of that. So I do like it, but... If I hadn't tried it, I would always be like, I wonder what that palette's like. I wonder what his formula's like. So I'm glad I picked it up and tried it out. Next up here, we had the C Color Fantasy Glow Kit. This is a dupe for one of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I think it's for the Dream. I think it's called Dream or Dream Big, something Dream. But yeah, I picked this up. I had ordered this online I, and I did actually see this in a Burlington and I was like, oh, I already bought it. <laughs> but it's really nice. I love the colorful, you know, stuff. So very nice. Um, I had picked up this Wet n Wild uh, Bed of Roses little quad and I didn't even test it out. So we're going to roll this into next month's pile of things that I'll be using. Um, I got this from Ulta. This is the Ulta Beauty brand Smart Skin Care Solutions. It's their watermelon facial lift, mist lift, I wish. And it's uh, with a watermelon extract and aloe. Refreshes and revives the skin. It's really nice. It smells really good. And I like to just spray it on my face, like especially if I'm home during the day. I'll just like take it and spray it on my face. So it's it's nice. And then I also had picked up this also from Ulta Beauty, and this is their watermelon sleeping mask. And um, you put it on your face before you go to bed, and then you just wash it off in the morning. It leaves my skin really, really soft when I get up in the morning. The only thing that I don't like about this is, like, say you put it on and you just want to go to bed. It stays, like, tacky. It takes a very, very long time for it to, like, sink into your skin. So that may be part of the reason why it's an overnight mask. But yeah, if you put it on and you want to just lay down right away, you're going to feel it like sticky on your face. That's the only con that I did have to this, but I love it. It smells really good. And I'd be interested to know if it's comparable with the um, Glow Recipe one. So maybe somebody that has that one can get this one and do like a test on it. I told the um, Jen from Be Diction that they had this one because I know she has the watermelon one from Glow Recipe. So she said she might pick it up and give it a try. So we'll see. And then I was testing out these uh, Iconic Beauty Sticks. This is the Blur Stick, the Glow Stick, and the Cool Stick. Um, the Blur one I was using quite a bit throughout the month, like for my pores, my nose has most of the large pores and then the cool stick is really nice when you put it on it feels like water on your skin so I like to just put this on in the morning like after I wash my face and then put a moisturizer over the top of it that seems to work out pretty well 
And then the glow stick, I didn't use this too much. I only used it like a few times. I think with the summer coming, I'll probably use it more because um, it smells really good. Uh, like if I don't have anything like foundation or anything, I think it would look nice. So I did enjoy those. And then I had picked up this Joa Truly Yours foundation. This is pretty nice. Um, it's like a dropper type thing. And it actually feels pretty lightweight on the skin and it wore a nice amount of time. So I did enjoy that. And then I had picked up this Koki eyeliner in the, what's the shade called? I think it's called Eggplant. It's some, it's the purple one. <laughs> and this is really pretty. It goes in the waterline nicely. And then also from Koki is this nail polish in Oceana MP54. You can pick Koki up at Rite Aid now. And that's what's on my nails again today is another combination of Koki. I have this dark gray with this green over the top. This is called Enigma and this is called Feeling Lucky. So that is what I have on my nails. And then I had also picked up uh, one, another one of the Stila's. This is in Sea Siren. Such a pretty color. I love these. I, this was no exception. I love the color. And I just hate fallout. But every shimmer thing I put on my eyes, I get fallout with. And then I have this L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic in Aluminum Foil. And that's it right there. It's so bright. I love it. Love it. Love it. And then last three things up here are some of the masks that I picked up. I've used the Raspberry Yogurt Fusion Sheet Mask by The Cream Shop. Uh, the St. Ives Sheet Mask in revitalizing with acai, blueberry, and chia seed oil. This one was nice, but this uh, raspberry yogurt one was really nice. It made my skin feel really, really soft, and it just felt so good when I took it off. And it says that yogurt has lactic acid, and it gently exfoliates for naturally glowing skin. And the raspberry has anthocyanins and it promotes beautiful complexion and fight off bacteria. So I really enjoyed this one. I went back and picked up some more of that because I just, it felt so good. And then I also had another one of the little pods of the Nug facial masks. And this is the exfoliating one. And this was really nice as well. And I got three uses out of this. So um, these are, I picked these up at my bargain store, two for 99 cents. So really been enjoying these and I still have more to test out. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be not testing this month. This is what I tested for the month of May. Um, I hope you guys enjoy seeing these videos, seeing me review the stuff that I've tried out the month before. If you do enjoy these, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know anything that you tried out that you think I should try out. Any video ideas are always welcome. I'm wiping off all that off of my hands. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this month's monthly makeup wrap up. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll think about subscribing before you leave. And everyone, make sure you click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.